Smack in the middle of Midtown is Max and Marjorie Fisher Music Center, considered one of the cultural jewels of Detroit. In fact, this has been the home for the Detroit Symphony Orchestra since 1887, but this time last year, everything came to a halt thanks to the flooding. In this first floor, this whole area here, which we call the cube, the floor was completely damaged and we couldn't actually enter the building because there was such hazardous materials everywhere. DSO President Eric Ronmark says the catastrophic event that unfolded on June 25th, 2021 impacted the business in many ways. It was a damage to equipments that we had inside the building, including fine instruments. We lost many wonderful pianos that had to be replaced. And then of course it was the loss of programming because we just simply couldn't perform. Just to give you an idea, this is a $200,000 replacement for one of the pianos that was damaged during the floods. Right from the basement to the roof, these pictures showcase the extent of the damage. Bobby Levin from Globe Midwest is the adjuster for DSO, and he says even till today the claims are ongoing and in excess of $5 million. What are some of the damages that you were able to highlight that insurance companies that were not able to see. This building is an example. The humidity went up to 80%. It's normally down to around 50% because of all the instruments. Things started to warp. Uh, and you, you needed to look for it because it didn't happen right away. Back then, thousands of businesses and homes across Metro Detroit were heavily damaged. Between pump stations failing and mother nature pouring, Detroiters were beyond frustrated. What if there was a, f a flood uh, like last year to happen again, what could businesses do to protect themselves? In order to do some minor preventative, like a backflow converter, but until the city of Detroit fixes their infrastructure, it's going to continue to happen. So you're saying average folks and, you know, small businesses, they can't do a lot. They're not going to be able to afford to do it. That's a problem. Right. That's a problem. In search of a better answer, I made my way to Detroit Water and Sewerage Department's press conference, where Mayor Duggan and Director Gary Brown were speaking about income-based water affordability plan. This time last year, the conversation was slightly different. Thousands of people were impacted by last year's flooding, millions of dollars of damages. I want to know, what has the city done to prevent this from happening again? We looked at where the flooding took place, and we went into those neighborhoods and we cleaned all the trash that was created from the fl flooding. Uh, and then most importantly, uh, we rolled out the basement backup uh, uh, flood protection program where we're going out and installing uh, backwater valves and sump pumps. So is it safe to say that the city is in a better place now than it was last year? Without a doubt. I, but I, I don't want to mislead anyone to, to, to think that there couldn't be additional flooding if you had historical rainfalls. Regardless of if we see heavy rainfall this summer or not, Bobby says folks will continue to suffer from last year as insurance companies have hiked up premiums while dropping coverage. Somebody who had enough insurance last year probably will not have enough insurance next year if this happens again. In the meantime, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra's summer programming is back to entertain its patrons. Reporting from Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.